Hey everyone, Odie here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing Vex. Vex is a very interesting champion, and you'll notice that I've stopped playing Seraphine on my main account, and I've actually taken a break from solo queue on my main. And now we've been looking at our alt account here, which is TTV, and we're going to be talking about how Vex has been a very strong champ as of late. Vex is a very low pick and ban champion, and I definitely suggest people trying her out if they like a more damage dealing playstyle. She's similar to Seraphine in the sense that she does like a lot of range attacks that are very strong, she has nice CC, but she also has a very strong game changing ultimate which I've been enjoying. You'll notice we're on my diamond account and you'll also notice that this is a Vex support game. I've been playing Vex in both mid and support. Support Vex surprisingly is very strong because of all the engaged champs that are going on right now in the support bot lane but also because Vex is only needs really one item to do a ton of damage and if we get one item we'll actually start being able to carry games. If you haven't already please consider subscribing to make you a better League of Legends player. Thanks so much and please enjoy the video. Here are the runes I'm taking for this game. You can go pretty much any runes on Vex. You can go either Arcane Comet, Airy, or Electrocute. It's up to you. In the bot lane, we're up against two range champs, so I'm opting in for Arcane Comet. I want to start off with E level 1, and you just want to help your AD carry push for level 2 advantage. Remember, it takes 9 minions to level 2 first. Just harass the enemy, use your abilities, and just back off. Caitlyn uses her barrier here. Again, this is a diamond Caitlyn player, so even in diamond, people make mistakes or get scared. So just play normal, harass, and back up. We're just playing a poke early on. Poke, get them weak, get the shove, and then play around your teammates. It's gonna be a hard lane, so our goal here is really to start bursting them down. The lower they get, the easier it is to burst. Hard shove lanes, sit back, and collect. Vex does have a hard time against ranged champs like Caitlyn. However, if you just play like I'm doing right now, and just harass when you're allowed to, you actually get some good value. Moomoo comes for a gank, sit back and just auto attack. Be annoying, and harass them. Look how low they are. Try to stop resets. And shove lanes. We know she's gone, so you want a hard shove lane. Reset yourself. Prep for Lost Chapter is your first item. I know we're support, but Lost Chapter first is still fine. It gives us good stats, and we want to go for Ludens for nice burst. We're gonna go put a ward down. Look for options. There's a fight going on mid. Nothing to do bot lane, so I walk up to mid lane. EQ auto. Get first blood. Remember, you always want to use your E first on Vex, and this is just because it does more damage when you have the Gloom applied. So you want to E and then Q. Back off. Use your abilities, and Kaisa dies. It's okay. In the end, you want to just keep shoving your best you can. Even though our jungler is here, just keep catching waves. It's okay to get farm on this champion, and it's very easy to get waves on this champ too, which is why I like playing this champ. Especially because we're maxing our damage spells, and we don't really have any defensive spells in this character. A nice Q. Huge poke, E, auto. I have to get out because of Shen ult. I flash away because I'm afraid of getting ulted by Caitlyn eventually. So we're sitting back, reset, lost chapter, go back to lane. Try to stop resets. Now we're level six, we can look for some plays. Ward, and then go back to your lane to shove. EQ is the best way of shoving. It's okay to take some CS, just do whatever you can to just push the waves. E, Q, look how low damage we deal. Go back, and look for your next options. We see Zeraf mid lane. We have ult ready. We have fear ready. We want to engage when we have fear usually. We're going to go and use our R. And our combo is R, W, E, Q. And we want to do this when we have fear. If we do R, W, E, Q, it means we'll instantly fear the enemy and do the most damage possible in our combo because you get the EQ proc as well. Catch the waves. EQ. Nice damage. Just keep harassing. Lost chapter of CDR is very, very good. We're extremely low. And I'm afraid of again Caitlyn ult, so I'm just backing up. And I'm resetting. Kaisa dies. Again, we're looking for our Ludens first. Ludens gives us great stats. It's fairly affordable and does good damage after it got buffed. We're all about getting as much damage and CDR as possible in this champ early on. That way we can prep for a nice mid-game power spike. This champ definitely does do well around the 25 to 30 minute mark. Looking again for some plays. We have ult ready. We can hold our spells. We can do an EQ. Back off. Good damage. We're always just looking to shove. And make plays of our ultimates. And nothing really do here. Block of W. Back up. EQ. I get bubbled here. This is a big issue. I get super low. I ult. But unfortunately, I can't really use my ult because of the trap. I could have ulted right there last second, but I really wanted my fear to be up. It was a little bit of a mistake. But in the end, we just hold our abilities. E, W. Get a kill. Hard shove the wave because the enemy dies. And then look for our next option. We're going to take a plate. We're going to give it to our Kaisa for herself. Take the ward out. Back off, and go to base. Get our Ludens. Ludens is a huge power spike. I'm also buying a Dark Seal. Dark Seal is very cost efficient, and it's easy to get assist in this champ with all the CC we do. You see Ivor just solo kill the Amumu. Again, 
Clearing vision, EQs, back up. Bolts up in 25 seconds, so we want to prep that ability. Watch how I'm just sitting in the back line. And this here, just being annoying, looking for options. Huge burst, half our HP and one EQ combo. Bolts ready, walk to lane. I see Caitlyn, I instantly R. Again, W, EQ, max burst, R again, follow up. Q, auto. And we do that just because we were waiting until our cooldowns were up. That's why we held off on our ult right there. Reset, get Sork Boots. Sork Boots are the best boots for Vex support. You could go Ionian, but getting more burst it feels really good. We're gonna get in shove mid. Look for our options. Go back to lane. Always try to catch your waves with your teammates. I know it's not the best to get out on support, but because we clear so fast, it's actually not bad. You see Shen ult come in, sidestep, and then play the slow. We get kind of caught here. Q, and you start spamming abilities. Here I made a little bit of a mistake. I should have queued right now and get the Mumu off my back, but I was waiting to get like an angle to go for a burst, and I get caught. It's my fault. Shove mid. No one's around here, so it's our job to shove mid. I know it's annoying because we're support, but we're allowed to do this. It's perfectly fine to shove your lanes, even as support. Even if there's a gold tax, it's perfectly fine if there's no one around. Fight happens again. Sit in the back line, behind the Ivern. EQ autos. Just keep being annoying. Spam your abilities. Old Zeraf. And then R in. Get a kill. Look for your follow ups. It's okay to miss. W, zero damage from Caitlyn. EQ waves, rinse and repeat. It's very easy to play like this. Go back to lane. Shut the lane. When enemies come, you can let them take it. But you want to be playing it nice and slow. Watch how we're just in the back. We're looking to do things. Jump for the wall, fear, get the Caitlyn. Walk away, rinse and repeat. Again, it's similar to a Seraphine playstyle or any like mage. We're just looking for angles. R, W, R, R again. Triple ult. It's pretty good. We're going to make these cool plays of this champion. And honestly, it's a crater. Nothing to do here. So we're going to go reset. Look for our next items. We're prepping for a Zonia's Hourglass because we have 10 stacks of Dark Seal. Death Cap's also very good, but this game, Zonia feels fine for support. We have gold tax now. That's perfectly fine. Again, just play like you normally would. Shove the lanes, catch them if no one's around. We are the carry. We're seven and one on support. We do massive damage and we can actually carry fights. Enemies come to flank us. Holding our fear. Watch how I hold my fear here. They walk up to me, I can press an ability and make them run away. And that would just be annoying. These are Zax Zax, do percent damage. Keep stopping the Shen's resets. He is stuck. We have ult ready, we are. Jump to the fight. Try it again. Miss. This champion is very reliant on landing your ultimates, but luckily the ult has a huge range, so it's usually fairly easy to get it. My biggest suggestion is to always try to land your ult. Your ult is very, very important. So take your time to get land the ultimate. You have a lot of time to aim it, so just take your time if you need to. Enemy shows up, clear some vision, prep for dragons. I back up and look for some vision. Again, sit in the back line, they know I'm here. We do half of her health in one Q. So broken. I get picked off here. We don't have ult up just yet, it's very soon. And now just kite. Wait for your teammates, look for an angle, and go for it. We get one kill. We Zonia's our shattered arm glass. It would be annoying. We're very low. Looking for an angle. Storm Surge proc. Get Tsunami. Team cleans up. Shove mid. We got our mage eyes. Run it down mid. Go bottom and then look for another option. I could ult here and I might follow up, but because I, I didn't have my um, fear ready and I didn't know where the enemy is. I just decide not to. I want to keep my Mage Eye stacks. If he walked up, I would have went in, but don't need to be too aggressive. Just play calculated. Shove your waves. Be annoying. Look at this. No one's mid lane, so shove the mid lane. 
fear Mumu so he can't use any abilities. And just be annoying. Almost get the kill on Mumu. Looking for the next objective. It's an inhib. So just hard shove the waves. Catch the next one. And play around your allies. Honestly, Vex is a very good champion. Her win rate is very high. Her pick rate is very low. And her ban rate is very low. Meaning you can pretty much get her every game if you wanted to OTP here. While we wait for Seraphine to get her nerfs to get reverted. Or find a new build that might work for Seraphine. I think I'm going to stick to some Vex for a bit. It's very refreshing. Especially before the next season starts. Again, just take the towers. And push to the end of the game. Over on this account, we started Emerald 4. And we're already D4. In a matter of like a week. It feels very easy to play this champion. How is it just giving it a try yourself? Thanks again for my members. See you later.